So I don't know how to tell you guys this. My heart is pounding so fast right now. Oh my gosh. I am here today to announce to you guys officially, as of May 18th, Zach and I are engaged. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I told myself I wasn't gonna freak out like that and do the little scream, but I always do every time I talk about it. I can't believe we finally made it to this moment. It has officially happened for me. Like I said, on May 18th, Zach officially asked me to marry him and I'm gonna be a wife. <laughs> This is very nerve wracking and I wanted to be the first one on camera to give you guys the news because like this is one of those movie moments, you know, like one of those moments in your life where a huge part of you is like uniting with another part of you. Announcing my engagement on this channel is something that I always wanted to do and I never knew what that was going to look like and here it's happening. I just can't believe someone wants to marry me. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that sounds silly, but I am making the official announcement. Your girl NT is now betrothed. <laughs> so on that very exciting and happy note, what's up guys? It's your girl NT here, and that stands for now taken. So I asked myself, you know, what do I wanna do for the engagement announcement? Obviously, as you guys know, May 18th was like a month ago almost, and Zach and I did decide to just keep our engagement kind of like to ourselves for a small period of time so we could just really absorb this moment as much as we could like just be in love as much as we could and literally that day i started having the conversation with zach on like how is it that we're gonna tell you guys how are we going to spread this awesome news in a way that feels true to us you guys know that we aren't the type of people that like to post everything about our relationship you guys know zach is usually the guy behind the camera and so i was like zach like how are we gonna tell people about this I feel like people are gonna have so many questions about you you know like Zach has appeared on my channel but you guys haven't really had the opportunity to get to know him in the way that you know me so I thought how fitting would it be to announce the engagement one-on-one -on -one with you guys and then have the very first ever Q&A where you guys get to ask us questions with Zach here on camera and you can get to know him and our relationship a little bit more now that we are tying the knot. I feel like it's finally appropriate that you get to meet my future husband. <laughs> I just love saying that. <gasps> I have seriously been on like this mental high for the past month of just feeling like no matter what, okay, we all have bad days and they come around, but nothing can really dull this like season in my life right now. I'm seeing hearts everywhere. Like I was literally drinking miso soup the other day and one of the French onions in the soup was in the shape of a heart. <laughs> and it's just a season of love and nothing can get me down right now and I just am soaking every moment of this in and I am just so so happy to have you guys with me I know it's been a really long journey for all of us and we are finally here so I want to thank you guys anyone that has been here even since like the conception of this channel I am hitting a new stage in my life and on this channel and I am just so excited for what the future has to offer for all of us so thank you I'm so happy I get to share this moment with you guys so without I am not gonna say without any further ado I always say that everyone says that without hesitation any longer how about that I'm gonna go grab Zach and for the first time ever on this channel we are going to talk to you together as a couple and do a Q&A so I am here with the one and only the one and only Zachary Perkins this is my fi uh, fiance officially <laughs> a fiance Fiance. All fiance. I feel like I'm finally like getting in the hang of saying fiance. I know like I still catch you saying girlfriend. I still say yeah. it too, but I feel like I don't know. I like saying it. It sounds fancy. So we are here to answer a few questions from you guys so you guys can get to know Zach a little bit more because you normally do like all of the behind the scenes work. Like I told them before you were here that you're kind of more behind the camera. 
Yeah. We'll talk more about that. I know there's like some questions on here that I'm honestly curious to hear your answers. These are from Instagram before you guys even knew we were engaged because this is when we're making the official announcement. So I had to pick and choose which ones applied. Are you ready to answer a few questions? Yes. Okay. Let's hear them. Question number one. How long have you been dating? How long have we been dating? It's been about three. We've been together for, has it three, been three or four years? I think years? it's almost four. Yeah, I think so this like year, this year it would be four years September. on September. We've been together for a long time. Honestly, that's like the longest I've ever been with anybody. <coughs> question one, and we're already spilling the tea. All right, question number two. How did we meet? I think we should tell them like the first time we met and then the second time we met. Our story is a little unique because we've known each other for so long. Like when was the first time we met each other? Well, you were in high school and I'm, yeah. a little, I'm a little bit older. So I was like out of high school at this time. Yeah, I was like a sophomore in high school. And I just remember like I knew about you from a friend. We both mm -hmm. grew up in the small town in Ohio. I remember like everyone knew everyone and you got my number from someone. I don't remember yeah. who gave you my number. But well, the, the first time we started like talking or whatever, it didn't really work out. I think we knew each other through like mutual friends. And obviously I think a lot of the times like in smaller, you know, communities, like we were friends on Facebook. I'm probably, you know, yeah, we probably. were, we were. And when we first started talking, you wanted to date. And I remember you came to the high school and put flowers on my first car that I ever had. And I don't know why I, I just did it. I wasn't interested. <laughs> I think I brought you Reese's cups too. Reese, you did? did I? I think so. Oh. Flowers and Reese's cups. And for some reason I didn't. I wasn't like interested and that was my future husband. I think it's funny that we reconnected after high school, yeah. after we had, you know, been through some, some of our own life path stuff, we reconnected yeah. and uh, that's how we like got together, but we've known each other for a long time. Question number three. Oh, this one's for you. Question for Zach. What's the first thing you remember about her? This is the one that I'm curious to know what your well, answer is. Yeah. So. I guess, like I said, because there, there was two different times that we had met. Initially, back when she was, you know, still in high school and I was just recently out of high school, you know, I tried talking to you and, you know, it didn't work out. So the first thing that I, that really stuck with me that I remember from like friends telling me or oh, whoever, God. whoever <laughs> like I was like friends with at that time. Um, because like everybody knows everybody. I remember people were like, oh, Natalia is a model. <laughs> And I was like, Sweet. They told you that? Yeah, I, remember, every, I think everybody pretty much knew. That everybody you, knew? That you were in modeling, that you did modeling. because And you were very, t you know, tall. Oh yeah, pretty. a lot of people like knew about me just because I was tall. Yeah, well you were tall and you were pretty. So you had the looks and you had the... Oh, I love whatever you. The, whatever You're the so else. sweet. The looks and the... So that's the, the first thing that you thought about me? <laughs> Wait, what? The looks and the what? <laughs> the looks and the kibbutz. <laughs> What's a kibbutz? I don't know. Okay. Question number four. Question, Question number four. Does Zach enjoy being on camera? I You're doing a good job today. Well, I don't I don't mind being on camera, I guess. I don't it's not like I like, you know, oh it's like, you know, I would want to just jump in front of the camera and, you know, uh whatever. But it's definitely something that I've You have your own grown. YouTube channel. Yeah. And you yeah. do like your own thing on there, like fitness stuff. It's not my first choice. Yeah. I'd rather, mu I'd much rather do other things than just get on camera. But I definitely feel that, uh, it's, you know, I've gotten a lot more comfortable. I think it's probably like when you're dating a, someone that does YouTube, it's almost like, I don't know, it's not necessarily like your primary thing. Sure. Everybody has their thing, I guess. Okay. Question number five. <laughs> I have ring hand. You got ring hand. It's a condition. It definitely is. Question number five. What is Zach's zodiac sign? Can you guys, wait, can you guys it's guess? Insane. Comment down below what you think Zach's zodiac, zodiac sign is. First, before you guess, I mean, just look at us. Just, just look at us. We look like twins sometimes, I swear. Zach's zodiac sign is... I'm a cancer. He's a cancerian king! <laughs> I mean, did, what did you guys expect? We're both crabs. <laughs> We're crabby people. We even have like our own little inside joke where we do this together and we like pinch each other and 
What's the song we sing? It's the... Put, put the, the lime in the coconut to mix it, it all up. <laughs> Question number six. Do you guys keep God at the center of your relationship? Yes, I, th I think we definitely do. I think our relationship was built with God. And, you know, because of God that, you know, he brought us together. Yeah. I feel like, you know, obviously we have both had, had pasts. And, you know, we started a, a, a new chapter um, and kind of really trying to find ourselves. And then in that time is when we found each other. Yeah. Um, and then... And we were very accepting of each other's past, too. And mm -hmm. uh, I just remember, like, you were the first relationship that I've ever had where we both believed in God. And God was, like, the center of our relationship. We both believe that that's, like, the main reason that we've gotten this far, I feel like. Yes, definitely. You know? Yeah. I was never able to, like, really hold relationships until I put God in the center of yep. this one. And it's, like unexplainable yeah i feel like the love is just so different you know i i i was the same way when you know past relationships they never lasted i never had god in in other relationships and i feel like you know it's definitely just made us a lot stronger and it's helped us to grow together and you know um as individuals too but so definitely i love yes. you I love you. I love you. Question number seven. What was it like dating while newly recovering and exploring religion? Much love. I feel like we just kind of answered that one. Yes. I think like when, when we started dating, like when we reconnected that second time I told you guys about, we were both like newly recovering from our own past and addictions. I've talked about that openly on my channel. Mm -hmm. And Zach has a very similar past. Drugs, um, you know, trouble with, you know, the law and just just breaking rules and, and really not, you know, doing things the way God would want me to do things. And, and we were very good for each other. And we both like were at the same point in our lives when we came together that we were able to acknowledge that we wanted mm -hmm. to be different. And we wanted to do something different together. Yeah. So that's so special. Yeah. The tea <laughs> is so hot. <laughs> it's so hot. Question number eight. Eight. First impression of each other. This is this is a good one. What was what was your first impression of me? You want me to go first? Yeah, of course. So I'm gonna be very honest. I did not like him at all. I did not want to be with him. I thought that he was a punk. And <laughs> I was. <laughs> well, it was weird though because you were like a nice punk. Like you wanted to, you were like bringing me flowers, yeah. but I just saw you as like someone that I just I don't know wasn't interested in pursuing. No. But I'm just so glad that we reconnected now and it's working now. <laughs> yeah. But what about you? What was your first, your first impression of me? Yeah, my first impression, um, definitely. I mean, I, I always thought you were very beautiful. So that was, that was, so you know, sweet. a first impression. Also, I thought that you were very, very sweet, like to, you know, talk to me and Cause I, I mean, to talk to well, you. Well, listen, I honestly, I figured, you know, like, oh, this girl's a model. She's probably talking to like, you know, boys, to who? boys, <laughs> and you know, I was talking to my cats. <laughs> Best and worst experience together. This is one that I had to think about. Um, I actually gave this question to Zach before this video so we could really think about it because we've had so many experiences yeah. together and there's been a lot of good ones and a lot of bad ones, but I yeah. think we should first share our worst experience together. Yeah. I feel like for me, the worst experience with you was <laughs> Rainforest Cafe. The Rainforest Cafe. When I turned the living room into the Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> that was your worst experience? What? One week I was having an extremely <laughs> manic episode and I had the clever idea that I would turn our living room into a rainforest. That's not even that bad. <sighs> okay, but you don't understand how bad it was for me and embarrassing for me when I literally had to convince you to help me forced you to lift these heavy like 50 pound palm trees into our house we literally spent so much time like planting we spent like two days planting palm trees and palm leaves and dragging them into the house it was great and then i didn't like it <laughs> we had a really just for me to say 
No, I don't, I, I don't like it. <laughs> Listen, we had a great time though. We had, we watched Avatar with the plants and the lights. <laughs> It was, uh, a, it. It, was it was a it was a viewing experience, but what was. I'm trying to say is it was really embarrassing for me to be a partner that like was like all in. Like I need you to be all in. Like I it took me like convincing Zach, we're gonna turn our living room into a rainforest. This is what it's gonna look like. I photoshopped the whole thing. I made him help me, and then I was so embarrassed when I didn't like it and he had to help me tear everything down and it took us forever to tear it all down and I was crying I made a TikTok about it it was it was very embarrassing why are you crying because <laughs> I turned my house into a rainforest <laughs> and what are we doing now we're putting it outside <laughs> well it wasn't that bad okay well what's your your worst experience with us you think my worst experience. Like, I think the worst was when we first got together. There was a couple of times where you didn't really know if you wanted to be with me. I remember there was there was one time where you were like, you know, you wanted to just take a little bit, and we we didn't talk. <laughs> I left. For, I left you for like a week or so, and I was like, what the heck? And I was just like, you know what. You know, like we had been talking for a couple days and I literally would just get up and leave. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we were <laughs> both going through stuff, but we, you know, it was a very emotional time. Yeah. But that was definitely like really bad for me. Cause I was like, you know, I thought I just felt like a really strong connection towards Aww. you. And I felt like, you know, God was telling me like, this is the one and like, you know, everything, anytime that we were together, it was always really nice. And then, um, you know, you told me you wanted to take some time and I was like, that's fine. You know, obviously I respected that, but that was definitely, you know, really hard for me in that time. Aww. So that was like a worst experience for me. So. But what do we think our best time together was? We should just agree on one together. Oh man, there's because, been a like, lot. I think that like one of the best moments that we've ever had was other than us getting engaged. I was going to say that's the most recent. I think for me, the best experience with you was when we went to our truck. Oh. This story was really near and dear to my heart. So much so that I even like painted a mural of it on an actual rock. I'm going to go grab it. You tell them the story. Okay. okay. So our truck is a spot close to Laguna and it's a place where you can basically swim out to this big rock and you have to swim there. You can't just like walk there and then you can basically jump off of it. So that that was kind of my plan. I wanted to, to go there, check it out and jump off of it. And I'm a very cautious person compared to you. So this whole experience was very, very much something I wouldn't do. That's what the rock looks like because there's an arch in it. Yeah. And I painted a mural of it because it was very special to me. If you see here, there's us jumping off of Arch Rock. And if you look closely here, this is the moon. And then that little red dot is Mars. That was actually like aligned with the moon that night. Yeah. And I wanted to paint it because it was such a fun experience for you to push me out of my comfort zone. I would have never swam out into the ocean, scaled up this terrifying rock. You're more of like a daredevil and there were people going like way ahead of us. There were like, there There's were like people... teenage kids going with no shoes on. So I, I mean, say, was, yeah. people did it, but it was something that like could technically be considered dangerous. Like if you weren't being smart or safe and just, I'm such a fearful person naturally. And that like was the first time that you really pushed me out of my comfort zone and you encouraged me and you said, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. You can go over to the beach and sit over at the beach and just like, cause I really want to jump off of this rock and you climbed up there and I waited and you went the first time. Mm -hmm. And then I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to try this. I got stuck a couple of times, but yeah, no, that was a really fun day. You helped me conquer a fear. I learned to trust myself that day. Question number 10. Do you have any pet peeves about one another? or any odd things you've gotten used to with each other. Oh, well, I'm sure we have a list of things here. You go first, you go <laughs> first. Pet peeve. Pet peeve. Um, well, first one I can think of, just because we were like just talking about it the other day, is uh, wiping up the, the counter after you make your toast when you've got <laughs> crumbs all over. 
yes. leaves, the, leave the crumbs there or when she's when she d- does her coffees when you do your coffees and you get the spoon for the the cocoa the, yeah the cocoa whip whipped cream topping, and then she sets the spoon right on the counter and then it has a little bit of cocoa still on it and it's it like whipped cream made from coconuts little, gives it a little sticky uh I feel like part. I knew that you were gonna say like the pet peeve thing was probably like us just cleaning up after each other because there's little things we that do, we there's, do that there's like little pet peeves that we have with each other where we'll just like pick up after each other but we both do it in different ways it, for sure like just this morning I took the towel the off towels. of off, I took the towel <laughs> off of the shower because we hang our towels to dry over the shower and yep. I fold them yep and you never do that I do that every day but you clean up my spoons every day so. <laughs> It all balances out. It, that's what love is. Like you're just doing different things for each other all the time. Well, I can say that you know, if if it were, you know, that say say you weren't around for a week and I didn't have any spoons to pick up, you know, I would kind of feel lonely. Oh, that's the sweetest thing. Wait, that's like the sweetest thing anyone has ever said. Well, that's you so know. Sweet. Okay, so. What was the second part to that? The second part was any odd things you've gotten used to with each other. You go first on this. I feel like an odd thing that I've gotten used to with you, that's like the one that stumped me. Like I can't really think of anything that's like that you do that is odd that I've gotten used to. Here's the thing. I think everybody does like, it's kind of odd in a certain way, but it's almost like that's kind of what makes that person like special or... I feel like the odd things are just human things. Human things, yeah. It's really, it's hard to like say oh that's odd you know what i mean when it's like oh that's just kind of like how that person is or that's how they are that's their personality yeah you don't do anything necessarily like odd yeah oh talking in your sleep sometimes but that's not even odd Mm. oh i could do when you grind your teeth at night (gasps) i grind my teeth so bad you guys so bad oh no no you know what is odd about you you're, you are so like on your dental game. Like you use a water pick, you use wow. a flosser, you like, you, you just are so good with your dental stuff. And that's not odd. It's just like, I've gotten used to it. I'll be laying in bed and I just hear the <laughs> of your water pick. <laughs> the water picks are great. They're, but it, that's not a bad thing. They're very handy. Though. That's not a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Number 12. Oh, this is. Favorite hour of the day. Aww. What's the what's our favorite hour of the day? I, I think it's a toss up with me. Really? Yeah. Cause I would say like my favorite time is like the the evenings with you, like our wind down time. Yeah. But then I would wind also, down, but but I, not wind down. What did I say? Well, to me, I I wind down. Oh, you wind down. <laughs> I was gonna say mornings. I think well, our favorite mornings. hour of the day is like 8 a.m., 7 a.m., you know, when we wake up and we get our cup of coffee and we like establish what we're going to work on that day. Mm-hmm. I think I think mine's like evening and nighttime because I love to go to bed. <laughs> Me going, too. <laughs> going to bed is so great and especially when I get to go to bed with you. I it's, know. This is like, our bed. This is the, actually yeah. the bed we sleep in every single night. Don't you love it? I love it. I love... Oh, like, it's funny. We're on our sides, too. I know. This I sleep is, on this side. Yeah, you I'm sleep on, on that one. side. It's funny. Question number 13. If you had a chance, would you get a pet? Well, we have two pets. We have two cats. Two if you cats. guys didn't know, Moon and Margaret. Well, we had Margaret first, and we got both of them together. We didn't have cats. Well, I had Katie from like my parents' house, but when we got together three years ago, we decided after we moved in together that we wanted to have cats. You guys know I'm a huge cat person. I like dogs too. I love all animals, but I've always been attracted to cat attracted. (laughs) I've always been drawn to cats over dogs or any other animal. First, we adopted Margaret, Mm -hmm. Miss Margaret. She's like our big fat gray one. Yeah. And then I had a dream that we had a second cat named Moon. And sure enough, like a week later. Yeah, we ended up finding Moon in the bushes. In the bushes. She's a bush gremlin. It was a stormy, stormy night. And we heard what sounded like a frog Yeah. in the bushes. <laughs> and I was like, no, that's a cat. And we look and it was it was uh, a little black kitten. A little black. All you could see were and I, her eyes. I literally had a dream that, yeah. you know, that we had, an, we had another cat. I know. Like, yeah. 
So Moon came into our lives, and now we still have them. They've moved across the country with us to California. We yep. packed them up in our car, and they came here with us. And That was fun. I feel like if we had the opportunity to get more pets, would we? I don't know. I think eventually, maybe, like we might get a dog, but I think at this point in our lives, a dog is just too much work for us. We like to have like our times to like go out and do stuff, and I feel like just having a dog at this point in our lives would just be kind of tying us down a little yeah. bit more when we wouldn't necessarily not that you can't that. travel with a dog you can totally travel with a dog and a lot right. of people are good at doing that but we're just like no not yet we're not ready. not yet okay question number 14 how many kids do you want now or in the future um I mean I definitely yes we we do want kids we do want kids yeah just to put it out there my whole life I never wanted kids I don't know if I ever told you guys this on my channel but I was like anti-kid and then I met him and my feelings did change a little bit. Yeah. I think, um, you know, two kids is a good number. You want two? Well, I'm just saying if it, if it I came... I thought we had always said one. Two is not bad because, you know, they, you, they have somebody to play with then. Yeah. I think, but you I never think know. personally, I would plan on one like we're, our first one will definitely be planned but then like, yeah. we'll have to see after that because you only you need one know. good one <laughs> i was an only child so yeah i and liked I it I had, I had <laughs> and <brothers>. i wasn't <laughs> question 15 when's the wedding babes well i think i just answered that i think question. yeah so we don't know we don't have a date yet but as soon as we do have a date, like I'll obviously talk about it with you guys and I'll, I'll share like some of the wedding details. I won't really vlog our wedding experience or anything. Like you won't be picking out dresses with me or anything, but I will share like things in my regular, regularly scheduled videos. So that way you guys are up to date and in the loop, but we don't even know. We're just soaking up being engaged for now. And it's so funny. Everyone asks like, when's the wedding? When's the wedding? When's the date? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> we just wanted to, you know, take our time with it and, you know, just soak it, soak it up, right? <laughs> what was that all about? Question number 16. What's your favorite photo shoot or shot? That question, I think they were asking me just my, like, a general question about my favorite photo shoot, but I took it as our favorite photo shot from our photos of our engagement. Oh, okay. Um, cause we did have photos taken of our engagement and yeah. I wanted to talk really quick about like our photo shoot. This picture is my favorite. It was, it was a candid shot when Allie was taking our pictures we were on the beach and you were holding me and we kind of like, pulled away for a second, but she took the picture. We weren't even posing. That's like probably my favorite. That's a good one. Or the picture of like um, the ring in the rose. I love, love, mm, love that picture. That's a from good our one engagement. too. Or like my reaction picture. I like all of them. They're all really good. What was your favorite like picture that we got well, we, taken? We've had a lot. I, out of the engagement photos, I would say I really like the, the ones where the sun's behind us and we're dancing. The silhouette. The silhouette ones, yeah. Where we're dancing on the, in, like, on the beach when the waves are like coming up on us. And yeah. that was really fun. Those pictures are so cute. By the way, shout out to my photographer, Ali Amadeo. She was there and she caught every moment of it like she always does. And she's just absolutely amazing and i want you guys to just check her out i'm going to be posting more of my engagement photos on my instagram if you want to stalk me on there you're going to be able to see everything yes from our engagement on there we are you know the type of people that like to document everything so if you're interested check that out but i loved all the photos i think they were all beautiful definitely okay last question Question number 17, best relationship advice. The best relationship advice, I definitely say, you know, having having God is um, a great foundation to start with. And then, you know, once, once you can have that, you can work on other things like, you know, being honest with each other, being open with each other. I think communication is a, a big thing. And, you know, just, just loving each other is, you know, what it's really about. Yeah. Growing, growing together as a couple. And That's what I was going to say. The best relationship advice I have is to always grow no matter where you're at, where you start. It doesn't matter like other, other than your growth. Your growth is mm -hmm. what defines your relationship. And also like how you react 
to situations. I think the one thing that was different with our relationship than any other relationship that I've had is the love is mostly about the sacrifice. Love is not just the good times. It's also the bad times. It's how you react during those bad times, yeah. how you sacrifice yourself for that other person, because it's not always going to be pretty. You know, we've had, we've had hard times together and to get through it and to make it to this point, it's been, there's moments where it's been a challenge for both of us, I know. And mm -hmm. we've made it through by sacrificing our own desires or our own feelings for the other person, just to kind of put yourself in their shoes. Even if you think you're right, or you know you're right even, like just to know like you don't have to always voice that, just like to sacrifice your own feelings and put them aside for now for the other person. And that's what it's all about for me. Definitely. That's like so different than anything else I've ever had. Yeah, I can agree. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. I'm so happy. We're both very excited to share this journey with you. And we thank you guys so much for asking us all of these questions. I hope you enjoyed getting to know Zach a little bit more now that we are going to be husband and wife. I figured it was probably time for you guys to get to know him. So thank you for You're coming welcome. on. Yes. Thank you, everybody. All right, we love you guys. We're gonna get going. If you guys have any future suggestions on videos you'd like to see Zach and I do together, let me know. I will leave a short playlist of all the videos Zach and I have done together somewhere on the screen. So if you wanna see more of him, I know we've made a couple videos together, like boyfriend yeah. videos. Yeah. But we love you guys so much. Cheers, honey. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's your girl, NT, and- Your boy, ZP. Signing off. We hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. God bless. Bye.